cracking everybody <clears throat> another video um this one was inspired by uh one of my wife's theories the other day right and i gave her my my theory right and so i said you know what let me make a video about it and see what you guys think so First thing I want to say is, um, we all know that especially the United States and um, Russia um, have very extensive um, research and uh, have developed weaponry in the area of... Um, biological warfare um, germ warfare right um, other countries like uh, Iraq had chemical uh, weapons that they used mainly like chlorine bombs and stuff like that but um, the United States and Russia during the Cold War and trying to one up each other and figure out how to do things they messed with stuff they messed with stuff that shouldn't have been messed with and um, like on a on a side note to that um, those of you that don't know I know a lot of you do know the experiments that the the, the Nazis were doing on humans doing on the Jews um, a lot of the other governments in the world secretly didn't want those um, experiment stopped and so during the the defeat of uh, Nazi Germany a lot of those uh, Nazi scientists were um, brought to the United States were taken to Russia and um, are behind a lot of those stockpiles that those two countries have um, <clears throat> I firmly believe, I don't know which of the two, I have an idea of which of the two countries it is, but I firmly believe that um, HIV AIDS was created by uh, scientists. It was created by uh, either the United States or Russia. Um, the way that HIV can be attacked by the T cells and then reform itself into like a, a distorted T cell in order for our, our bodies to stop fighting it and so it can grow and then start killing off all the T cells there's no other there's no other disease that does that not that I mean I'm not a doctor doctors please disagree with me show the facts and shit you know but anyways um, so with that out of the way you know, it's out there now for us to to go ahead and think about. Let's also let's also remember um, throughout history, governments have used different methods to control populations, and warfare was one of the main ways to control population. Um, you know, because countries and the planet itself can only sustain so many people. And so there has to be a reduction in population and and in those who are consuming the resources of a country or a planet. Right. So, like I said, warfare was one of the ways um, eugenics, negative eugenics was also used. Um, this country, it was used, they were caught doing it um, to African Americans, um, sterilizing people. And it wasn't just African Americans, but that's one of the things they got caught with. Um, other countries have used eugenics. The Nazis were actually using uh, what they call supposedly positive eugenics when they were trying to create a master race. Um, but eugenics have been used in population control. Now, 
back to what my wife had her theory that inspired my response in this video was my wife was talking about the coronavirus right and where she believed how it developed over there in China and I won't go into that but you know because I'd rather you know I can't I, my wife she watches my videos and I don't need to misquote my wife and be in the doghouse but my theory as you can see where I've already gone with this is China is so overpopulated and China is working on so many things. China, don't forget, guys, um, the Clintons, the crooked-ass Clintons that the Chinese government on the under um, spent millions and millions and millions of dollars to have um, Bill Clinton reelected. Um, and during that time, the Chinese government stole every single one of our nuclear secrets out of Los Alamos. People forget that. I believe uh, Clinton sold us out on that. But anyways, I'm sure they have a lot more secrets. And um, I'm sure they stole some of our biological warfare secrets. Because, you know, when you look at a country that populated... They're not going to go to war. Just, you know, it's just too many countries nowadays are, you know, who are they going to attack? Taiwan and then have to deal with the United States meddling in it. And if the United States meddles in it, then, you know, somebody else is going to, you know, it's just going to be a big old thing. So they, they know that's not really feasible. You know, that's not really an option. So... Another way is to create a flu. And it, if we think over the last, what, 10 years, how many that we got the bird flu, SARS and all that, that, that came through China. You know, now we have this coronavirus. And this coronavirus, they, you know, I read something today that it, it, it incubates for 14 days. So you can have it for two weeks and be walking around infecting other people for two weeks. So imagine how many people you come into contact with on a daily basis. And so, in the, you know, these people that are traveling all over the world and, um, you know, they're trying to quarantine people. And, you know, you're quarantining people that aren't going to show signs for two weeks. Some of them, the ones that have it. And you're not going to hold them for 14 days, right? Um, but I wanted to share that with you guys and get you guys' uh, opinion on that. Do you, or have you, have you even given it any thought that these, these flus, it's, I mean, it's so easy to, you know, we have a flu season every year. So it's, you know, and, you know, and I'm not one of those that believes in the whole, you know, like, I know in prison people were afraid of the TB shots because they said they can just do experiments on you. And this government has been known to do many experiments. Uh, but every government does that, right? But just imagine on the streets how many people get flu shots. So if, a, if a, there was a, a plan to infect people for population control... The flu shots would be such an easy way to do it, you know. But once something like that is weaponized, it, it, it can be used in an aerosol uh, can spray, whatever, whatever, you know. And people would be like, "Damn, this is some crazy ass shit. This motherfucker going crazy." I ain't going crazy. I'm just asking a question. I believe the Chinese government would do something like that in order to deal with the population crisis that they have. Um. And let me, I want to know what you guys think, man. So with that, it's my lunchtime. Uh, I got to go. I'll probably do another video Sunday, man, because this is, this is a couple I did in the shop. 
And uh, I, 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 like I said, I don't really want to be doing them in the shop because I did hear finally the noise that's in the background because I really don't watch the videos unless somebody brings something up. Well, you said this, and I'm gonna go back and check, right? And uh, and I heard the noise, and I was like, damn, no wonder. But anyways, all right, with that, I'm out. <laughs>